Hi everyone, welcome back to another video, or if this is your first time here, welcome. So this video is something that I'm super excited to be sharing with you because these are things that I am so passionate about and absolutely love. But at the same time, I'm also a little hesitant and nervous to post this video because I feel like people will either love it or they'll hate it. I'm just coming at you with things that I find really helpful and you might not believe that these things actually work, but everything works with the power of intention. It's not that everything is so mystical. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you holistic and potentially mystical <laughs> sleep rituals for the best night's sleep ever. This is the kind of content that I can really bring you guys. I have not seen many YouTubers dive into the world of like holistic living with a side of mystical aspects, but I know people actually like this stuff. So I feel like there's a little bit of a need on YouTube because that's something that I'm looking for as well and can't really find. So here you go. If you're someone who's ever suffered from raging anxiety before going to bed, if you have nightmares or even sleep paralysis, I've never had it, but I'm terrified to have it. So I feel for you guys, these little rituals Will create such an amazing environment for you to sleep in so positive and full of light let's just dive on into this video it's been a hell of an intro <laughs> so before we even step into doing the rituals you have to create a peaceful and sacred sleeping environment so i'm moving in like two weeks and my house is chaos my room is a mess i haven't had the urge to really even clean my room because i know i'm going to be packing everything anyway but i've had such terrible sleep and anxiety trying to go to bed so so cleaning my room and creating such a peaceful environment will really set the tone for how I'm gonna be sleeping over the next few weeks. So I just rearranged my room a little bit. I put my bed into the corner. In feng shui, I've read that they put fabric over harsh edges of tables and stuff. So I put a fabric over top of this little ugly chest that I have. I don't know how I feel about it, but I didn't like the color anyway, so <laughs> it's gonna work. I cleaned my room. I put all my laundry away. I lit all of my Himalayan salt lamps and I even put on my diffuser. I really recommend having salt lamps and a diffuser in your room. So when you're trying to get in the mood to go to sleep, you can put those salt lamps on and turn your lights off and it will create the most serene environment you can imagine. Once your space is cleaned and peaceful, you're ready to begin with some holistic and a little bit mystical sleep rituals. So the first little holistic DIY we're gonna do is create a lavender filled eye pillow. So for this, you're going to need some sort of seed like a chia seed or a flax seed, herbs like dried lavender and dried rose. You can even use hibiscus. And then you'll need lavender essential oils and some sort of fabric. I just used cotton from Michaels. So what you're gonna do is fold your fabric in half and cut out the shape of your eye pillow. I made mine into a longer rectangle Tangle. I personally would have rather had it a little bit higher, if that makes sense, height, have higher height. So all you're gonna do is take a needle and some thread and stitch up three sides of the fabric. Once you've done the three sides, you're going to flip it inside out and take a big mason jar, definitely bigger than the one I used, and fill it up with your flax seeds, lavender, your rose, and then put a few drops of your essential oil. And then just stitch up the remaining side. This is seriously my favorite thing ever, my favorite thing I've ever made in my life. You can put this over your eyes when you're trying to fall asleep if you sleep on your back. I personally sleep on my side, so I like to put it like right here so I can smell it and it also feels like it's an extra little pillow for my neck. Definitely make this eye pillow. Like I'm not kidding, it will change your sleeping routine forever. So then we're just gonna make a dream catcher. You can either make one or buy one. This will work either way, but I personally made one. A dream catcher is a spiritual object and a cherished tradition from the Native American culture. The legend involves a teacher appearing as a spider. This spider wove webs of feathers, beads, and natural elements of the earth. The web catches bad dreams and negative energies. And according to the legend, anything negative that it caught throughout the night is going to be burned away with the sunrise in the morning. So all I did was I bought this ring from Michaels and some fabric from Joanne's fabric store, some ribbons and a doily. So I just tied with string and hot glued the doily to the ring and then I put fabric around the edges. I hung fabric from the bottom and I had this beautiful dream catcher. And then I went to a local metaphysical shop and I picked up four little apothelite crystals. Apothelite is an amazing protection stone and it brings really good vibes into your room so I really recommend putting crystals 
somehow into your dream catcher. So now we're on to blessing the dream catcher. You can do this really however you want. This is just how I prefer to do it. So first I just start by staging my bedroom. This creates such a positive feeling in the space. So I do it on a regular basis anyways. So I start by opening the window to allow some fresh air to come into my room. Then of course I light white sage and I stand in the center of the room. I meditate on the intention I want to create for the space. So for this, I say something like this space and my dream catcher is providing me with peacefulness, calmness, and deep sleep. My dreams are lively and beautiful and all negative energy from this space and in my dreams is caught in this dream catcher's web. So as I say this, I go to all four corners of my room, return to the center and bless towards the sky, towards the ground. So in order to charge the apothelite crystals in the dream catcher, I take my selenite crystal that is pointed and I just hold the crystal in my hands and meditate for a few minutes. And again, you can do this however you'd like. You don't have to do it at all. I imagine a light coming through the top of my head and going through my entire body, going through my hands and out through the crystal in my hand. When I do this, I actually begin to feel my hands start to pulse. It's really crazy, but I love it. I feel like it's actually really working. And again, whether it is or not, it's just the power of intention. So when I feel that, I'm like, hmm, this could be working. <laughs> Once I begin to feel my hands pulsing, then I know that I'm ready to activate the crystals in my dream catcher. I point the crystal at the apophyllite on the dream catcher and repeat the intention I have for it. I envision the light transferring from my crystal that I'm holding into the crystals in the dream catcher until this little ritual, if you want to call it that, is over. The next thing you can do for a beautiful holistic night's sleep is do an Epsom salt foot bath. When I was a teenager, I had terrible insomnia. I would have really bad nightmares, couldn't sleep. So in the middle of the night, sometimes I would wake up and I would literally put my feet into the sink and just wash them. For some reason, doing this always helped me fall asleep. I wonder if there's some sort of Chinese medicine or something that has to do with washing the feet. I'm not too sure, but this Epsom salt foot bath is to another level of like pampering yourself. So definitely try this. So for this, again, you're gonna need a calming environment with salt lamps or candles. You're going to need a large bowl that's big enough for you to put your feet in, some Epsom salts, sweet almond oil, and your favorite essential oils. I love lavender and peppermint. And then you can use some dried herbs again, like the dried lavender, the rose, or hibiscus. So put all of the ingredients into your bowl. I placed it at the foot of my bed so I could just lay down over the edge. I turned all of the lights off, but I had my salt lamps and LED candles flickering. I laid on my back with a pillow under my head and I put my lavender eye pillow on my eyes. I put on a 30 minute YouTube video to listen to and I literally fell asleep in one minute. I didn't even feel tired, but when I woke up, the video was over. So this definitely works for trying to go to sleep. So the next thing we're going to talk about is a crystal grid. I'm kind of new to using crystal grids, but again, I believe in the power of intention, whether this works works because of the crystals or not, it's up to you to decide. Creating a crystal grid is a way to organize the energy of crystals using the concept of sacred geometry which is the language of the universe. By arranging your choice of crystals into a specific pattern, you are kind of working with the universe to heighten your desire. So what you're gonna do is create a safe space for your crystal grid. This can be anywhere. I just put it on my little chest that has my salt lamps on it because it's a really nice positive space for me in my room. I already cleansed my room during this day, but if you hadn't, definitely go ahead and do that. So then choose a large crystal for the center of your grid. I love my selenite crystal for this. I call it a little unicorn horn. So this is going to be the center. Selenite is also an amazing crystal for protection. It naturally cleanses itself, so it's great when trying to rid negative energies. Then you're gonna write an intention you want to manifest. So for this video, a peaceful sleeping environment, positivity and light to fill your space. Place your intention underneath the center of the crystal and surround the crystal with five other mini crystals in the shape of a star. I used rose quartz because I also snuck another little intention intention under there having to deal with love if you know what I mean <laughs> so I really wanted to use the stone of love for this intention then taking the same selenite point from the dream catcher portion of this video I'm going to do the same visualization meditation from before and touch the point to the center crystal repeating the intention in my head then I go to the surrounding pieces of rose quartz and I say the same intention as I touch each one with the point until I return back to the center 
center. And that's it. The intention lives in that little space. You can leave it there for however long you want. I'm personally gonna leave it there until I move in a few weeks. So then we're gonna create a recipe. So this is a cherry and lavender milk. This is so heavenly and delicious and super calming. It's perfect for having just before bed. Cherries are a natural source of melatonin, so having a few before bed is also a really great option if you do struggle with going to sleep. So that's the base of this recipe. So in a blender, blend together all of the ingredients. Then you're gonna boil half a cup of water and brew a lavender tea. I have these edible lavender flowers that I just steep into my tea, but you can also use pre-bagged lavender tea. And once it's done brewing, pour the blended mixture into the tea and heat on the stove while whisking. Pour it into a mug and get super, super comfy. And guys, this tastes so good. If you've ever had the pink drink from Starbucks, it tastes a little bit like that, but a million times better and it's hot. So did you guys find this video helpful? I know some of them, it's probably not up your alley, but for me, this kind of stuff really makes me happy. It's what's really helped me through anxiety and depression that I have. I've talked about that before. These kind of things just make me feel so much more in control of my life which I know a lot of people struggle with as well again even if it's not real it doesn't matter because the attention is still out there it just makes you feel so much better and that in itself is creating a positive effect so please give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. it really helps me out to know what you guys are enjoying and be sure to subscribe to my channel it really makes me feel so great when you guys subscribe like I said I really enjoy making these kinds of videos and I don't see many youtubers doing it so I feel like there's a space for it so if you're into that kind of thing definitely support me and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye don't pretend you're sorry even if you're crying